section. Please watch this. USD Angelicum College, founded in 1972, is an institution of learning that strategically envisions itself to be the preferred school for alternative and transformative Catholic Dominican education. Angelicum was founded by the first provincial of the Dominican province of the Philippines, Father Rogelio B. Alarcon, OP. The school started with six classrooms and a small library, all housed at the Dominican Seminary. Its pioneer learners of 315 young boys were ably mentored by nine facilitators when it opened its doors in July 5, 1972. Today, it is a 4,000 strong population of preparatory, elementary, junior high school, senior high school, and higher education students. The years that followed saw infrastructure expansion in the campus to accommodate the growing population that included girls as well as learners with special needs. Likewise, new buildings and student facilities were constructed. Angelicum expanded to Iloilo and briefly in Iran. In 1978, Reverend Father Norberto Castillo OP became the director of the school, and it was during his term that Angelicum gained wider acclaim in the country and added to its learning facilities the Father Edgardo Lomboy OP Memorial Resource Center. 1982 marked the beginning of Angelican leadership of Father Hilario Singian OP, whose term saw the completion of the St. Vincent Covered Court. Reverend Father Juan Ponce OP, who became director for four years, spearheaded the construction of St. Thomas Building. In 1987, Reverend Father Honorato Castigador OP became the new school director. In 1995, the collegiate department was opened under the school's new name, Angelicum College. The home study program was granted recognition in 1996. The school's swimming pool and an improved football field were added. To enhance student experience. In May 2004, Reverend Father Herminio V. Dogohoy OP was elected ninth director of Angelican College. During his leadership, extensive improvement in facilities and offices were seen. Likewise, the college department began to offer the business and tester programs. In May 2008, Reverend Father Ferdinand L. Bautista OP became the next rector and president. As an advocate of academic excellence, he concentrated on intensifying the quality of the learning modules and promoted research undertakings by reviving the EPICAEA, the Interdisciplinary Journal of Alternative Education and Formation, and the Angelicum, the college's official organ. On May 28, 2013, the Basic Education Department of Angelicum College was accredited Level 2 by the Federation of Accrediting Agencies of the Philippines, or FAAP, through the recommendation of the Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities, or PAASCU. In 2015, the school was given recognition to operate a senior high school program with two tracks, academic and technical vocational and livelihood. Simultaneously, the construction of the Blessed Jordan of Saxony building 
for the use of the senior high school and college students started. The most significant date that made the history of Evangelical College even more meaningful was June 29, 2017. On this date, the Memorandum of Agreement for the Integration of the Royal Pontifical University of Santo Tomas and Angelicum College was signed. The integration is anchored on the provision of the 10th Provincial Chapter of the Dominican Province of the Philippines, which states in part, to integrate all the Dominican institutions within two venerable and historical educational tradition. Through this, the school was renamed UST Angelicum College, with Reverend Father Herminio Dagohoy OP as rector and Reverend Father Ferdinand Bautista OP as pro vice rector. The integration intensified the collaboration of the University of Santa Tomas and Angelicum College specifically in the areas of school leadership and management, courses on religious education and Christian living education, community and extension services, financial management, marketing and promotion, and research and publication. Academic year 2018 to 2019 unfolded with USC Angelicum College's adoption of the flipped classroom approach, blended learning, and continuous curriculum enhancements to cope with the demands of 21st century learning. Angelicum's commitment to quality education remained strong, testament of which is its PASCO Level 3 accreditation, granted to it by the Federation of Accrediting Agencies in the Philippines, or FAAP, on December 16, 2021. Academic year 2021 to 2022 saw USD Angelicum College welcoming back Reverend Father Herminio Dagohoy OP as its new Pro Vice Rector. His triple A vision, academic advantage at Angelicum, is in full gear in order to usher into the future a safe, smart, and sustainable USD Angelicum College. USD Angelicum College continues to write its history and solidify its legacy of transformative and alternative Catholic Dominican education as it celebrates its Golden Jubilee on July 5, 2022. Welcome to USD Angelicum College. Let us now ask for God's grace in this event. Together, let us pray the Dominican blessing, which will be followed by the Angelicum hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.
At this point, it is with great honor that I present to you the Pro Vice Rector of USC Angelican College, Reverend Father Herminio de Gohoy OP, to give his message. Good day and welcome to USD Angelicum College. Casa Abierta is a program that the college initiates to allow the parents, friends, and public to know more about USD Angelicum. Because of the limitations imposed upon us by the current pandemic, this year's Casa Abierta open house is virtual. But it doesn't mean you will not feel and experience the same welcoming and hospitable environments the school has to offer. This program will allow you to visit different facilities of the college designed to develop and complement the intellectual formation UST Angelicum is known for. Also by getting the administrators and academic officials of UST Angelicum, we hope that you will find the school a school of your choice, Catholic, Dominican, individualized learning, self-paced, where the learner is placed at the center. Once again, welcome to USD Angelicum College. Thank you very much, Father Dogohoy. It is indeed our hope that our participants feel the hospitality of the school and its stakeholders, though this event is done virtually. Now to give everyone an idea of the features that make USD Angelicum College unique. Let us all welcome the Director for Academic Affairs, Dean Eunice Moreth Ariola, PhD, PhD HSG. Good morning and thank you for joining us today in our first virtual open house, Casa Abierta. Angelicum College, which started in 1972, remains to be non-graded and self-paced. When it opened its doors and used the tagline, we do what is best for the learners. However, 50 years after, UST Angelicum College has already evolved to becoming a PAASCO level three accredited institution that boasts of a triple A is equal to triple S program. We remain to be learner-centered, self-paced, and non-graded. You might be wondering, what is triple A? Triple A is the academic advantage at Angelicum, where we are very clear with our purpose, our program, our practices, and our people product. We start everything with our why, our purpose. We are a learner-centered institution, and as we adhere to an inclusive and diverse learner admission, accepting and respecting that every learner is unique, we embrace and nurture every child and adult learner in our alternative and transformative Catholic Dominican academic family. We commit to our program, our what? Our program is multi-intelligence approach in preschool, a non-graded basic education program where we have individualized learning in the home study program or online distance learning and a small subgroup learning in our regular program. We have a strand focused and enhanced senior high school program with its academic and vocational track. A communicating, coding, creating, and caring professional training program in higher education that is aimed to advance our students in their professional or entrepreneurial directed practice. And finally, we have a robust business or employment directed TVET program. How do we do this? We are very clear with our how, our practice, and they are seen in our seven-point agenda of practicing our education system. Number one, it's outcomes-based and process-oriented instruction, coupled with the collaborative learning. Third, our borderless classroom. Fourth and fifth, and this is very true for our basic education, our continuous progression format and mastery learning. Sixth, our personal tracking of progress, and of course, the last, no marking. We develop a future where we will see men and women who has the Tomashan Angelican seal. Seal that stands for being stewards of God's creation. E, engage global citizens. A, active lifelong learners. And L, lovers of truth. Very much anchored on our four core values, justice, charity, fortitude, and truth. Triple S 
is directed towards the trifecta of safe, smart, and sustainable UST Angelicum College. Being safe means being holistically healthy, where data is secured and people are well informed. Our campus is smart as we use our Angelican HiFlex modality where our practices are wired and wireless and our connections are intelligent and global. And finally, it is a sustainable academic institution where um, intent and action is bridged to awareness, action, and replication of all the people, planet, and prosperity goals, not only of the country, but also the region, and of course, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Over the years that we have been in existence, Angelicum system remains a unique system. In here, students are valued as individuals who are being developed in order for them to carve a niche in the society in the future in whatever profession they will engage in. It is our hope that you will become part of our big, our big family in USD Angelicum College. Angelicum system is uniquely Angelicum. Thank you very much, Dr. Ariola, for providing us with a concise and clear understanding of USC Angelicum College. USC Angelicum College works hand in hand with its stakeholders in the achievement and fulfillment of its vision and mission. Here is what they have to say about their experience. Please watch this. I like USC Angelicum College because the teachers are nice and thoughtful. I learn many things at school and do activities like swimming and singing lessons. Things that I like about USC Angelicum. First are their modules. I can study by myself at home and advance my lessons. Second are their non-graded system. So when I'm taking a test, I don't need to be pressured on doing perfect because afterwards I can correct my mistakes. And third are their self-paced learning, so I can learn at my own pace. I love USD Angelico because the school provides quality education for each learners to make their way of studying more easier. The teachers in USD Angelico are very dedicated and culturally to teach and do what is best for each learner. I love USD Angelico, but not only because it has served as my second home, it is also where I have truly gotten to know myself better as a person. If not the best, it is indisputably one of the best learning environments for me as a student. Because not only have I been educated, I have also learned how to apply everything I have learned and how it could help me get through life. I love UST Angelicum because the institution molds me into who I have become today in order to adapt the right strategies of the learning system to uphold the Dominican spirit and have the independence and competence as a student all throughout. Also, USD Angelicum serves as my second home where I can truly feel the essence of its environment. Hello, I'm Remer Griffin S. Gutierrez from Batch 2009. I work now for SGV or Sisip Gores Velayo & Company, a top accounting firm in the country under the tax advisory. I was a recipient of the Fodro Helio B. Alarcon Award for finishing two levels in one school year under the regular program of Angelicum College. Because of the self-paced system of Angelicum, I was able to finish high school for only three years. The self-paced system of Angelicum was a big help, advantage, and edge for me upon entering the university. Since Angelicum inculcated in me at the early stages of my school years, the relevant values necessary to succeed in college and in life in general, such as discipline, self-control, and self-reliance, transitioning to college was quite smooth and easy for me, especially in De La Salle University, Manila, which is a trimestral system and fast-paced. In college, it is self-paced also, just like in Angelicum. Typically, it is up to the student to make his own schedule, to choose his own professors, and to budget his own time 
on when to study and how much to study. I didn't find it difficult anymore to adjust from high school to college because Angelicum did prepare me very well because of its self-paced system. I will be forever grateful to my alma mater for inculcating in me not only values to succeed in academics, but also in life in general. Happy 49th anniversary, Angelicum College, and I'm looking forward to your golden anniversary. Hi, I'm Marijaska Nicolas, one of the General Excellence Awardee of Batch 2010. I am now a physician working under the Doctors of the Barrios Program of the Department of Health. It is a program assigning doctors in doctorless municipalities around the country. Currently, I am assigned in Santiago, Agusan del Norte, Mindanao. The self-paced modular approach of Angelicum College allowed me to have the balance in academics and extracurricular activities, such as community-oriented programs. While I learned inside the four corners of the classroom, my values also developed in various activities such as outreach programs, teaching projects for Angelicum's adopted community, and through joining DOMNET, or the Dominican Network. The self-paced learning also honed my perseverance and discipline. Through the hardships of college and med school, I persevered in achieving my childhood dream of becoming a doctor, while still joining community-oriented volunteer programs, like Ugdayan ng Pahinungon the service arm of the University of the Philippines. With that, I would like to express my endless gratitude to Angelicum College, especially to our passionate facilitators. Happy 49th anniversary, Angelicum College! Hello everyone, I am Johan Joshua Santos. I am an alumnus of Batch 2004. Currently, I am the CEO and President of Creative Impact Incorporated, an advertising and events company which I founded eight years ago. I am also a political communications head of a basic sector and a district office at the 18th Congress of the Republic of the Philippines. At the same time, I am also active with one of my favorite organizations, which is Rotary. And currently, I am serving as the Chief of Staff of our district and an Assistant Regional Public Image Coordinator for Zone 10A. Angelicum has taught me many things, and it has opened my eyes to many, many learnings and lessons. And I think even until now, I am applying all these lessons that I got from studying in Angelico. Looking back, uh, I have so many joyful and happy memories in being an Angelica. And it taught me many things. But the first and most potent learning that I've got with Angelico is it's okay not to be okay. In other schools, if you're bagsak, if hindi ka maka-catch up, if mababa ang grades mo, it's like it's the end of the world. But you know, in Angelicum, if if mabagal ka gumawa ng module, if hindi mo napasa yung mastery activity mo, it's okay because you have another chance. And if, if hindi pa rin, you have another chance. You have unlimited chances because they value self-mastery. They understood that not all individuals have that kind of learning curve. And I appreciate that in being an Angelican. My um, story as an Angelican was not perfect. Though I, I, I was a former president of the Student Council, and I've been very active in my organizations, but I remember my teachers before, they would look for me and drag me going back to the classroom and make sure that I will be doing my modules. Those are the things that um, I will never forget, and those are the things that I appreciate. That commitment that my teachers has given me, showed me how to also be committed to the individuals that I work with right now.
that I serve with right now. And thank you, Angelicum, for showing me that kind of commitment, that kind of passion. Because right now, I am actually doing it also. Maybe with, with, with my peers and the individuals that I am with. I will also never forget that reap can that we need to put one peso and before I would be annoyed um, and ask my teachers why do I need to put one peso and donate I don't even know these people but you know right now I've been helping so many communities I've been reaching out to so many individuals that I do not know and it feels so good to help, to give, or to pay it forward. And I think I have Angelicum to thank for that. Reap has inspired me to do many things. And I commend Angelicum College for the Reap program because it has changed so many lives. It has given so many opportunities to many individuals. And lastly, right now, during a pandemic, looking back, Angelicum has taught me not to give up. Angelicum has taught me that you should just be courageous and focused on all your goals and eventually you will get there. And maybe because of that persistence and relentlessness, that I was able to learn during my stay in Angelico. So, the only thing that I would like to say to the organization and to everyone is thank you. And uh, my heart is full of gratitude because I won't be here where I am right now if not for my Angelico experience if not for my teachers, if not for my classmates. And I hope that Angelicum will have so more years to come and create an impact to many individuals as it created into mine. Thank you and uh, again, congratulations. USC Angelicum College has indeed come a long way in its efforts to provide a transformative and alternative Catholic education. And as we celebrate the institution's 50th anniversary in academic year 2022, it is our hope that you will become part of the Big Damash and Angelican family. Now, to gain more information about the efforts of USC Angelicum in the last 50 years, please watch this.
2017, what was then Angelicum College was renamed UST Angelicum College as it marks the integration of the school with the Pontifical, Royal, and Catholic University of Santo Tomas. United under one University of Santo Tomas system, we now sing the UST hymn. At this point, we will proceed to the breakout rooms for a better view of each program. You may find in the chat box the Zoom links for the different departments. Should you be interested to know more about our preschool and elementary departments, please click the Zoom link for the BEd LL room. For those who have children who are incoming junior high school students, please click the link for BEd. HL room. Those who wish to join the senior high school department room, click the link BEd SHS. And those interested to know more about the programs in the college department, kindly click the link for HED room. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us in this plenary. See you all in the breakout rooms. <laughs>